Hey guys, Gav here again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to use the import and export schematic tools. Now, right now I'm in the basement of my main base, uh, the one I have a YouTube walkthrough of, and this is uh, the very large library I built, and there's a sort of temple thing over there. Now, let's say you downloaded my level and you really wanted to move this library or that temple into your own world, but you're not really sure how, and recreating this brick by brick would be a... Well, quite frankly, stupid task. I would envy anyone who had that much free time. So what you can do instead is select this entire library using the select tool, as I showed you how to do in uh, previous videos. And then what you're going to do is click Export Schematic. Uh, let me see if I can select a couple blocks here. And OK, there we go. So if we clicked Export Schematic, and you had that entire library selected, of course, you could then rename that schematic as anything uh, you wanted. So when I exported that schematic, I called it Library Schematic, and um, you know, you save that. I'm going to cancel here. And then what you can do is click Import, and then uh, if I were to redo that, I'd click that. And all of a sudden, as you can see there, that green selection is that library which I can then place anywhere, uh, use the, you know, temporarily place it, then use the nudge key to move it around. If I need to rotate it using the E key, if I want to turn it upside down or sideways, you can use the R key. If I want to flip it uh, essentially like a mirror, I can do so uh, using the F key. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues with copying air or water. There's not like any water around here uh, to really worry about, but if you did uh, have that issue, just deselect those. But there you have it, a rather quick and easy way to use the import and export tool. I'd show you the fruits of this, but with something this large, the rendering time is legitimately like five minutes uh, in MC Edit or another level. But thanks for watching. Hope this helps.